I'll be fooled. It's the control center for Jean Bizon's trade empire. Sneak inside and raid his files. You're sure to find out where he keeps his clockwork parts. Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall? That'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Bizon took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it. Hello, Arpeggio again. Salutations, Mr. Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course, for you, Chum, always. Although, must we communicate through that dreadful speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell, is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Yes, we're well underway. My blimp should arrive at the end of the week. Bullseye. For a second, when are you gonna give me a look see at that clockwork brain of yours? I'd sure like to buy it off you. Be song, you cavernous troglodyte. You already got the lion's share of the parts. Would you take my meager portion of the robotic bird for your own and strip me of all my earthly pleasures? Easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clockwork parts I got. Sly, did you hear that? Besides hidden the Iron Horse blueprints in his trophy bass. Head for the fish on top of the fireplace and... Excellent! Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted! Sounds like you're making capital use of your share of the robotic loot. But for now, the clockwork brain stays with me. After analyzing Bissant's decorating techniques, I think we'll find the other trophy bass above the mantle in the two remaining cabins. Yep, just like I thought. Get to the fish above the mantle and steal those blueprints.
The last trophy bass is above the fireplace. Be careful. Attention all. Cabin guards. I've heard tell from the boys in Pomerosa Cabin there's someone been in my hidden blueprints. Everyone stay sharp. This ain't no summer camp. I don't pay you boys to volley gang while there's a thief in these parts. <laughs> Shouldn't take long. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. 